Good morning, everyone, and welcome once again to Let's Play Skyrim. Last time, after three entire videos trying to cross that little gap, finally actually arrived at White Watch Tower and cleared the place out. In addition to killing the bandits in the little overhanging, the little camp inside the wall overhang under Dragon's Reach, we finally maxed out two-handed. Never going to touch it again. Glad that's over with. I'll be even happier when I finish heavy armor, but that's a substantially longer ways away. I'm going to start trying to have destruction gradually creep up, along with uh, one-handed as a backup. You'll notice I'm carrying my elven sword and have it favorited. Our next target, up here to the north, is Lorius Farm. Believe it or not, there's an actual side quest we can perform while we're there. Let me just keep my eyes peeled. I don't want to miss any flowers, bugs, or wildlife. But I don't really expect much. This is as far north as we're going to go for quite a while. Oh, there's a saber cat. When I'm done here, I'm going to turn west. I'd like to try and get a sneak attack. I will note that now that we're done with two-handed weapons, Sneak attacks with a one-handed sword will have a 6x damage multiplier instead of that paltry little double we've gotten used to with our great swords. Oh, are you kidding me? That just why? Why would he pick that second to turn around? That is annoying, my friends. That's what I call cheesing. Granted, I have to do it all the time, but it's a matter of survival on Legendary. When the game uses cheesing against me, it kind of pisses me off. As you've no doubt heard when I whine about the uncanny dodge when I'm trying to shoot things. That sort of beeswax. Anyway. Oh well. I'm actually glad it set me back because I think I missed all those purple mountain flowers. And oddly enough, Lorius Farm, you can see where the terrain changes. It's right on the border where we change from Whiterun Hold to the Pale. And that patrolling guard is actually a Pale Guard instead of a Whiterun Guard. Doesn't matter, really, in the grand scheme of things, but... <coughs> Excuse me. It's interesting to note, nonetheless. If you ask me, anyway. Alright, we've got all that, so let's get our sword out. And... Let's quick save, so we don't have to do the walk up again. Sneak to 83. You can see the difference, can't you? Now for destruction. It's, uh, at least when we're using flames, it's much more cost effective to do it this way. Of course, I still need to let things hit me if I ever want to be finished with heavy armor. Alright, now I need to be careful. Mm. 
Oh, oh come on. There it is. Oh, good lord. That time it dis literally disabled my jump key. I don't know if it was literally disabled, but I pushed jump and homeboy didn't jump. That always bothers me. A lot. Come on, Nordling. Jump. The irritating thing about trying to use destruction, as many, many people have complained about since Skyrim's release, raising the skill doesn't raise damage. You need better spells if you want better damage. And better spells aren't exactly easy to come by in Ironborn mode. Ah, uh, just an eye. Disappointing. But oh well. Let's go catch these bugs. Luna Moth gets priority. We'll have no problem getting both, which is what I like to see. And we'll angle back this direction. After we get one more torch bug and a couple more tundra cotton. So. Tankard full of alcohol. Always good. Should tell you I'm recording this on a weekend. No work to be done. Catch these Luna Moths. And let's gather these plants as we talk to the oddly dressed man next to the cart with the broken wheel. Well, before the oddly dressed man, let's talk to the guard. Pale hold guard. You need something? No, nothing. I'll just be moving on. Well, all right then. And there shouldn't be any hostiles around, so we can we can spam mage light for this portion. Having trouble with the sound. Good. All right. Now we can talk to the f oddly dressed little man. We check his pockets first. Then we will speak to him. Cicero. Odd little name. Uh, spoiler alert. He'll disappear if you join the Dark Brotherhood before coming here. So... If you're a completionist, make sure you do this quest before you go to Windhelm and start Innocence Lost. Ah! Bother and be fuddled! Stuck here! Stuck! My mother, my poor mother! Unmoving, at rest, but too still! Problem? Oh, poor Cicero is stuck. Can't you see? I was transporting my dear, sweet mother. Well, not her. Her corpse. <laughs> She's quite dead. I'm taking mother to a new home. A new crypt. But... Ah! Wagon wheel! Damnedest wagon wheel! It broke. Don't you see? Is there some way I can help? Oh! 
Oh, oh yes! <laughs> yes, the kindly stranger can certainly help. Go to the farm, the Lorius farm, just over there, off the road. Talk to Lorius. He has tools. He can help me. But he won't. He refuses. Ah, oh, convince Lorius to fix my wheel! Do that, and poor Cicero will reward you with coin! Gleamy, shiny coin! Started. Delayed burial. Convince Lorius to fix the wheel. I met a strange jester named Cicero who is transporting his mother's coffin. One of the wheels of Cicero's wagon is broken off, and he wants me to ask a farmer named Lorius for help. The farmer is at his farm. Where else would he be? Lorius is his name. Talk to him. Convince him to help poor Cicero. All right, easy enough. The farmer is at his farm. Where else would he be? Lorius. So we can head up the road here. Uh, being nighttime, everybody's going to be inside. That's good. I can go ahead and pick the lock on the farmhouse. Lest we forget the little details. Uh, discovered Lorius Farm. I made note of that while Cicero was talking. I'm a believer in the virtues of multitasking when I can remember to do it. I don't think we be ever become friends with Lorius. Oh. But his door doesn't lock until the quest is finished anyway. Let's loot the outside for now. Including all the plants in and around the joint. We've only been going about ten minutes, that's good. Damn saber cat took a lot longer than it should have. We anything up here? No. is actually pretty fortuitous. We can uh, clear out the outside, including all the tools and whatnot that are technically stealing. Then we can just wait until daybreak, take everything from the inside, and then deal with the quest however we see fit. Nothing, nothing, nothing out here. But note that the terrain is beginning to change. There's snow on the ground. Typically happens when you cross from one hold into another. Just verifying that there's nothing important out here. What to my wondering eyes should appear but a corundum vein from the looks of it. Oh, good. We need this. On top of that, we got... An elk, a deer, and a pair of wolves. They might actually both be elk, I don't know. <laughs> that was awesome. Put on my good arrows.
I don't want to miss. Not with my precious elven arrows, anyway. That was just a little bit short. Awesome. That one was actually still short. Perfect. Let's go loot those. I thought I also saw a fox. Which I can one-shot so I can go ahead and get closer. Got an elk hide here. Oh, I think it's a snow fox. Doesn't change anything except we haven't seen one before. Yep, snow fox. Cool. We'll take that pelt. It still only translates to one leather. It's not better or anything. But there's a large antler and a deer hide. Good, good, good. Let me take a look at my checklist. I need one more deer hide. And I'll have 15 of each. And I need six more large antlers. Keeping an eye out. That's a clay deposit. We've seen them before, but I don't think I've discussed them. No need to harvest clay or stone in advance, because each of the Hearthfire properties has a quarry and a clay deposit on site. And the really nice thing about them is they never deplete. They have infinite value. So... <clears throat> You can just harvest clay and stone as you need it. Now, where is that other deer? I mean, I shot him. He's up here somewhere. There is a bunny. That I don't care about. Over here, of all things, is an orichalcum vein. Cool. It's amazing how profitable wandering around can be. Oh, there it is. Let's grab these two lavender. And let's go see what number three has for me. Deer hide and large antlers. That's the last deer hide I need. Now I can actually stop worrying about those. And I need five more large antlers. Outstanding. I don't think there's anything else around here. I'm... Since there's snow on the ground, I'm looking for snowberries, but I don't see any. Go down and fight those wolves. Ooh, 
Well, this might be a snowberry right here. It is. With that in hand, I think I need three more. Hardly any, in other words. Yes, three more snowberries. Twenty dragon scales, two ebony ingots, and twenty-four filled grand soul gems. We're ways away on a good deal of that mainly on the soul gems. Let's grab these tundra cotton. That's a giant camp that I'm not intent on clearing yet. I do want to kill these wolves. should be able to do it straight up, just spamming flames. Yep, there's the kill cam. Kill cam didn't work correctly, but that's okay. Anyway, notice, between the saber cat and the wolf at 15, Destruction goes up very, very slowly. And that's true, really, until we've got outstanding expert level spells and our full gear that we can spam those spells with zero casting cost. Alright. We're done running around now. Are there two Corundum veins here? One of them still looks live. That is awesome! That's why you gotta pay attention. Jeez. Good. Well, cool. Here's two more lavender, and then we'd be back at the road. Our generally spiraling navigation system now leads us to the windmill. Loot around in here. Obviously, paying attention to whatever I pick up. There's not much. So we can actually duck into the farm now. We'll start with the animal pen. Because there is a chicken egg here. Now, normally, I'm not into murdering animals just for the sake of it, but... I need a lot of goat horns. And of course he didn't drop any. I also still need goat hides, I think. Don't I? I could have sworn I did. Maybe I don't. Huh, I guess goat hide is off the list. I was hoping he'd drop some horns, but he didn't. Maybe... Only wild goats do. I don't know. Regardless, let's gather up everything else. We 
You can't pick up any of the hose here for whatever reason, even though we frequently can otherwise. Uh, the reason I'm going for sneak attacks with one-handed, by the way, is, I mean, while it should be obvious, you cannot do sneak attacks with destruction magic. So once sneak hits 100, I'll stop worrying about it and just lead battles with flames because it's by far the hardest thing to raise. The only reason I did two-handed first is because two-handed goes relatively quickly and I take no perks from that tree. Not from my, at least in terms of my level 81 character build. Alright, well I think we're good, so let's wait till 9 a.m. or so. That should be long enough for Lorius and his wife, Kurwe, to come outside. I would think so, anyway. Where are they? Let's go catch these butterflies. It's a good use of our time while we wait for them to decide to do their farm chores. There's number three. There he is. There they are. Good. First things first. Let's pick their pockets. Hey, there's something important. See what I'm talking about? Necklace of Minor Smithing. We need that Fortify Smithing enchantment for our crafting loop. We didn't have it. Oh, now we do. Mara, what now? Oh, quit your whining. Pickpocket. He doesn't have anything nearly that useful. But that's okay. Now one other thing. I think they'll be locked now, so we can get that little bit of lock picking experience. Oh, the one to the northwest. I told you I don't like you going there. I've seen scavengers picking at the mammoths. They could be dangerous. You know, I was thinking of expanding the herb garden. Make room for some new plants I'm planning. That should be all right. How much space were you planning? Oh, half the field should do. Let's just get this lock picked. Then we can talk to everybody, tackle the delayed burial quest in its entirety. It's a very simple little thing, but at our level it'll probably net us a full 1,000 gold, which is pretty cool. Ah, don't do that. Let's talk to Kerway first. You need something? Talk to my husband, Vantis Lorius. Or just Lorius, if it's all the same to you. You need something? Talk to my husband. Oh, for the love of Mara, what now? The, um, little man really needs your help with his wagon. That Cicero feller? Huh, <laughs> tell me something I don't know. Crazy fool's already asked me about five times. Seems he's not satisfied with my answer. Why can't he just leave us alone? So what's the problem? I'm sure he'll pay you. Pay me? You think this is about money? Have you seen the man? He's completely out of his head. A jester here in Skyrim? Ain't been a merry man in these parts for a hundred years. And he's transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin, and he's going to bury his mother. Mother, my eye. He could have anything in there. War contraband, weapons, skooma. Ain't no way I'm getting involved in any of that. He's a stranger who needs assistance. Please do the right thing, or... Hmm, you have a point. What can I do to help? 
I'll assist Cicero and explain why later. Please do the right thing. What? And just who in Mara's name are you anyway, hmm? Come here, telling me my business. And for what? To help a, a, a fool? You know you should help him. Persuade check. I think it's an easy one. It might be average. Look, I... I... Yes, you're right, you're right. Feller might be nutters, might not. The fact is, he needs help. I turn him away. What kind of a man am I, huh? Look, um, thanks. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. Completed. Convince Lorius to fix the wheel. Talk to Cicero. Good. Tell Cicero I'll be along presently. I just need to do a couple things here first and gather my tools. So, if you decide not to help Cicero, you can report that he has contraband in the box to the guard, and the guard will haul him away, and Vantus Lorius and Kerway end up being brutally murdered. You can find their corpses along with a lot of blood inside their house. On the other hand, if you help Cicero, he pays you a leveled amount of gold, which at my current level should definitely be 1,000. I find it more rewarding to help Cicero, both because I like gold and uh, that way the Loriuses get to live and prosper instead of be murdered. Everybody wins that way. Let's talk to Cicero to wrap up the wrap up the quest and get our reward. Poor mother! Her new home seems so very far. I talked to Lorius. He's agreed to fix your wagon wheel. You, you did? He has. Stranger! You have made Cicero so happy, so jubilant and ecstatic, but more, even more, my mother thanks you. Here, here for your troubles, shiny, clicky gold, a few coins for your kind deed, and thank you, thank you again. <laughs> Completed. Delayed burial. 750. Maybe 50 is, level 50 is what gets you to 1,000, but nonetheless, that's a lot of gold for passing a persuade check. Uh, I will wait for Lorius. Oh, yes! Mother and I will wait right here, right here, until he fixes our wheel. Uh, I will wait for Lorius. Oh, yes! All right, let's grab these two lavenders. We've been going 30 minutes. It's not too bad. It's amazing how the time just fills, though. I thought for sure I'd be able to do Lorius Farm and the next spot, Halted Stream Camp, but now I'm thinking that's not terribly likely. Especially because if you listened to Lorius and Kerway talking about the Boneyard and the scavengers that are up there, what will happen in this video almost certainly is we're going to roll up there and handle a couple of poachers, which are really no different than bandits, but... Eh, delayed burial is completed. I have resolved the conflict between the Jester Cicero and Lorius the Farmer. Oh, there we go. Let's talk to these folks again. You need something? Talk to my husband, Vantus Lorius. Or just Lorius, if it's all the same to you. You need right. something? Talk to my husband. Vance is Lorius. Just need to gather my tools and finish up a couple of things. No worries. I'll see to Cicero. Make sure that wagon gets fixed. Just need to gather my tools and finish up. Alright. No worries. I'll see to Cicero. Make sure that Let's check out the farmhouse. I don't think that made us any friends. No, it didn't, but pretty easy to steal everything when the place is empty. Right? Of course, right. So, of course, make sure you don't miss any alchemical ingredients, especially chicken eggs. Read that, read that, read that, read that, 
Board, board, board. Chests are where exciting things tend to be. Sure enough, there's a bear pelt. An actual bear pelt, which is always a relief to see. Because while I've said this a dozen times, Tembo will accept anything, but we need plain bear pelts for Hearthfire. So the more of those we have, the better off we are. And ten leather strips are kind of nice. The Sabercat Snow Pelt, I need those for Hearthfire as well, with that one in hand. And Snowy Sabercats, I think is what they're called, are actually pretty rare. You can run into them around Winterhold and Dawnstar, but with that pelt in hand, I need six more of those. Very cool. Woodcutter's Wife, we've read... Nothing there. Steel sword, la dee da, whatever. Already have an elven sword, which is way better. Let's roll over here. Let's just try not to inadvertently sit on the table. There's a snowberry. Second one we found in this video. Only need two more. Pretty cool. And then what will be really good is so once I have stashed everything I need for the actual crafting loop, I can actually start making potions of fortify enchanting to boost my skill gains, which will make it go much faster. Let's steal all that. And let's head out. I have 25 minutes left. My next target is Halted Stream Camp, which is to the west of Lorius Farm and just a little south. But the thing is, in addition to a particularly valuable and unique spell tome, that happens to be the radiant location for Amran's dungeon delving quest. So that's exciting. Between here and there is a little spot I actually haven't cleared, despite all of my wandering. That is this boneyard. There are two poachers in there to kill, which I might have already mentioned. Steady hand perk really helps. I think that was short because I saw it fall. That might actually... I was going to say that might be a tree stuff, but no, it's an elk. Like I thought. BAM! That's what I'm talking about. So this, if you're familiar with the Lion King, it's almost like the Elephant Graveyard. It's actually a Mammoth Boneyard. And there are a couple of poachers in there. Now Halted Stream Camp itself is a fairly obvious camp of Mammoth Poachers. So I believe those poachers are connected to Halted Stream, even though that's never made explicit, but regardless, we are, of course, gonna kill the poachers. They act just like leveled bandits, but they're both just called Poacher, so it is a little bit difficult to know what the, their exact uh, leveling is, but that doesn't really matter to me anyway.
I think I should clarify exactly how Destruction and the other magic schools level. You have to successfully cast a Destruction spell against a viable opponent and do damage in order for the skill to raise, but unlike two-handed, one-handed, and archery, it doesn't have anything to do with the amount of damage that you do with the spell. The way they calculate experience gain for Destruction and the other magic schools is by the base magicka... Ooh, another snowberry. The base magicka cost of whatever spell you're successfully casting. <clears throat> more expensive spells get you more experience, but <clears throat> unless you have enchantments going... Hey look, here's the final snowberry we need. Cool. It's another line I can entirely delete from the list. That's always a relief. As I was saying, it gets complicated because what you really need to figure out is the ratio of experience to magicka cost to figure out what the most profitable spell to cast is. Flame, if you have no enchantments, nothing, and I'm only speaking for destruction here, if you have no enchantments, no fortify destruction effects at all, flames, the novice level spell that every character starts with, is the second most efficient spell in the game. The only one that's better is the apprentice level spell, Fireball. But they go excruciatingly slowly. The real way to raise ra way destruction. The real way to raise destruction is to use uh Let me see now. What I want is to disarm the archer. There's someone there? But I'm not sure I can manage it because of the the way they're configured, unfortunately. This guy's low level. He won't be a problem. Now I hear those two poachers I was talking about. The best thing, of course, is to get Fortify Destruction enchantments and get your, uh, learn an expert level spell so you can spam that. But until then, this is pretty much the best you can do. Good night, butt munch. mountain flower, yay! I'm not sure how strong this dude Oof. is. He's wearing scaled armor though, so I'm gonna assume he's fairly strong. Yep. 58 heavy armor. Seems like a reasonable assumption. Of course, now I'm focused on destruction, so Restoration and alteration take a bit of a back seat for a while. Because I want to spend my magic of casting flames, obviously. Tell you what, you start running so I can snap you in the back. Damn. Didn't want that. Or even flames, although it's a uh, spray, so you have to you have to be fairly close to your enemy. Nonetheless, has a surprisingly long range when you're using it. Gotta 
Be careful. I think this guy is a bandit thug level. Maybe highwayman. I'm actually having trouble with this. I think I think highwayman is lower than thug. I think this guy's a thug. That's... Hey, 16 destruction. Look at that. It raised. Can hardly believe it. He's not doing that much damage, but it's clear he at least has the ranger bird. Because he's able to move at full speed even with an arrow knocked. I'm gonna guess he's tier 4. Whether that's Highwayman or Thug, I think it's Highwayman. Might be Thug, I'm not certain. I know Bandit is lowest. Outlaw is second from lowest. Plunderer is second strongest, and Marauder is strongest. The middle two are Thug and Highwayman, but I can't remember right now which is which. Oh well. God damn it. Right in the chest. Rugged. I'm getting murdered, y'all. Bad news. That was good. That was good. Darn. Thought he was gonna have to hold that a little longer. Oh. They're such good shots. Right in the grill, as my brother would say. Right in the chest that time. If only I could have pickpocketed his arrows. Would have made this so easy. You weren't expecting that, were you? Well, now he's run too far away. We'll raise archery instead. Oh, he's coming back. Good. I like that. Yeah, come close again. That's good. Weren't expecting that. Work. What you want, huh? Damn. Can't wait to count out your car. I'll try and make it quick. Oh, he backed off again. It's alright. Can still 
take a shot. Oh, come on. No bueno. Gonna rip you open. He's back close again. Good. Almost like he can't decide what he wants to do. Alright, well, I gotta be ready on the dodge. I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Your smack talk needs work, Skippy. Hmm. Running low on magicka. Doesn't take much to doesn't take much time to replenish it to the point of usability, but Take one shot. Darn. Still, heavy armor's going up faster than I'm used to. Probably because I, uh... <clears throat> I'll level with you. I've done Master before, but this is the first time I've played on Legendary. I think the extra damage I'm absorbing is actually helping, uh... I like this development at all. I think although I can take fewer hits, because the hits I do take are such high damage, so much easier to rob when you're dead. the armor skills seem to be raising faster too. Yeah, he's... he never repeats a mistake. Well, that isn't exactly what I was going for. <clears throat> We've been going 50 minutes. We have 10 left. That should be plenty of time to finish this, at least discover Halted Stream Camp and offload. Which is about all I can ask for, really. It'll be so much easier to roll when you're dead. <laughs> I'll tell you all something. I think I mentioned I got a PS4 in the last few months and I've been uh, trying games out for it. Of course you'll recall my total adoration for the Thief series. The fact that I have tried and tried and tried to get into New Thief and it just it hasn't worked the way I would hope it would. Well, on a lark, and because it was on sale, I got a copy of New Thief for my PS4, and it actually made me furious, because my biggest problem with New Thief on the PC were all the ways the game was broken and didn't work correctly, just riddled with bugs, lagtastic. Really, anything, any complaint you might ordinarily have about a bad port, it's present on PC. Shit's glitched. It's not optimized. It's just atrocious. The PS4 version works flawlessly. So, I will tell you that I am really enjoying the game on PS4 because it works correctly. But, 
I'm also kind of furious because it ought to work if not best at least comparably well on PC and it doesn't oh, and it bothers me so fucking much like I get it PS4 it's a bigger market than PC so is the Xbox One so you optimize for the consoles fine but to have a game that's actually pretty fucking good on the consoles and is, I wouldn't say unplayably, but is broken, glitchy, buggy, annoyingly and noticeably so on the PC, that's just awful. It's just lazy. And none of the patches they're releasing are bug fixes. They're all like teeny little graphics updates. Meanwhile, the shit that's actually broken isn't getting fixed. It really pisses me off. But, suffice it to say, I think New Thief actually did, obviously, have it in it to be a really fun game. The fact that they obviously focused on console optimization and made the PC version buggy as all get out is terrible. Now, I am considering, considering being the keyword, I haven't made the decision yet, but I've noticed the share function on PS4, and I'm toying with the idea of uh, doing a new Thief playthrough for the channel via that function, using the PS4 version instead of the busted PC version. Uh, I feel like he should be collapsing any second now. He's not. Oh gosh, come on. Oh, by all means, I will take that ancient Nord arrow, thank you. Come on, collapse. It's time. There we go. Oh, you're posed. Except, of course. Oh, don't disable my fucking shout. God damn it! Try to hit him with the old foos. This doesn't fucking work. Uh, no, that's like what this. you're going with. Oof. Oh, it didn't work. Sorry. No. One handed to twenty three. Good night, bitch. All right. Search him. That scaled horn armor needs to go into my cupboard at home because it's better than leather by a lot. Anyway, I couldn't help but notice this corpse down here. Apparently, I already searched it. I'm not certain where it came from. We are four minutes off of the one hour mark. It's fine with me. Oh, except I was about to leave. I haven't looted this boneyard yet. It's probably a good idea. Considering all the effort I just expended to kill the poachers who were guarding it, right? I would say so. So let's loot the motherfucker. Lots of plant life, mostly tundra cotton and mountain flowers. Get excited when you see blue, that's the good stuff. Damage magicka regen, good alchemy experience. Nothing out there, that's fine. Nab the lavender. Mm -hmm. Let's cut through the middle here and grab the tundra cotton.
apart from the bones. Here's the mammoth itself. No tusk. Apparently, it's already been removed. All we get is the mammoth snout food item. Kind of annoying, but oh well, it is what it is. And here is a random greatsword, which in my case turns out to be the weakest of the weakest sauce, an iron greatsword. It's, it's obvious we should take ancient Nord arrows, or really any arrows, because they're weightless and we need the ammo for archery. Now, let me angle a little bit so I'm pointed towards Halted Stream Camp. I want to get it on the map, and then I'm going to go offload, and then we'll end the video ready to sally forth, so to speak, and actually deal with Halted Stream Camp itself. But, before we do that, Let's arm our best arrows. Ancient Nord is still the same as steel. Let's kill that animal. Oh, awesome! I'm getting good at this. Oh, shit, there's another one. Pay attention to that kind of thing. Large antlers are actually a pretty cool alchemical ingredient because they have the slow effect. I think I overshot that time. So I'd like to finish gathering those as soon as possible. We're already almost done with every flavor of pelt there is. The only ones we still need to hoard... Oh shit, hawks. But I'm about to get a location on the map, and I don't really want to do that before I'm ready. We'll leave those hawks alone. They can have a reprieve. There's a large antler. There's a large antler. Good. Two more of those means that I only need three more. As far as pelts, I still need Ice Wolf, Saber Cat Snow, and Bear. Everything else I can go ahead and use for smithing, which is nice. Oh hell, there's an elk right there. Well, what you want, son? <gasps> Bam! That's what I'm talking about, bitches. Let's get in this lavender. Anyway, the hawks circling that particular Nordic ruin are, I believe, meant to be reminiscent of vultures and that particular ruin is called Valenrud and it features heavily in the Dark Brotherhood quest line there we have discovered Halted Stream Camp which is great it means we can fast travel back here it is clearable but we're not going to clear it this time because we are just above the one hour mark. What we are going to do is head back to Whiterun and offload. And then in the next video, we'll slaughter some bandits and clear Halted Stream Camp. 657. 
If I fast travel to White Run now, I will arrive in the middle of the night. Let's just do a 12 hour wait. Because until I finish Amran's quest, I need to avoid having vampires attack White Run. Once Amran's done, I really don't give a damn. Was the only other West person I st oh shit I meant fast travel to White Run. The only other quest person still in White Run that's in any danger is, and I don't even think he sold as in danger because I think she goes. I don't think she's out at night. Yeah, the only person who's out at night who's really at risk of getting killed is Amran. Once I finish his quest, I can be done with it. Which is pretty great. Regardless. Time now to... offload and end the video. If you're wondering when the next crafting session will be, I'm sure you're ever so excited. Uh, it'll be after um, everything before Dustman's Cairn, but before I actually go into Dustman's Cairn. That's where I have it planned for the moment. Now then, let's spam us some mage light. They're reforming a dawn guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. You're someone who can get things. Hmm. Blades, helmets, All pretty right. much anything to suit your needs. Dagger, the shoes, the bow, all this armor, the useless great sword. All right. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Let me check on my ore supplies before I go smelt. Mainly looking for auric calcum, or uh, except I think I already have an even amount of core in them. So there's nothing. So it goes. Let's go smelt that ore. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. We have. Three Corindam ingots. With those in hand, I will need... Oops, wrong list. With those in hand, I will need... 77 more. You can see why I thought Ironborn mode would work. I'm actually fairly certain it will. We can do one Orichalcum ingot. With it in hand, I will need two more for Hearthfire. And then we'll be ready to use them in smithing. Go cast your fancy magic someplace else. I don't claim to be we got something very important this time. I'm not doing the crafting session yet, so I'm not going to actually disenchant it, but into the enchanting sack goes this necklace of minor smithing. Vital ingredients. Plenty of stuff. Gotta hold on to all the large antlers still. Still need to hold on to all the snowberries, but that's it. Future snowberries I can use. And 
wheat. Good, good, good. Smithing supplies, what do we got? Not the bear pelt. Two of the deer hide. All of the elk hide. The flawless garnet, the goat hide. The leather strips. The ore. The normal saber cat pelt. Snow fox pelt and the wolf pelts. On to see you again, my friend. In here, out comes the leather armor with its piddly thirty-five. In goes the scaled horn armor, rating forty-two. Luci Lucia's chest has restocked. Nothing that's on any list, but some good quality ingredients. Always welcome. Slot them in here with all the others. Honor to you, my king. Let's head up here now. Did I steal anything? Yes, I did. I pickpocketed Lorius and wife. Not to mention, robbed their house blind. Oh shoot, not the lockpick, not the lockpick. Come on back to me, there we go. Nord mead, yes, potatoes, yes. Gotta hold that potion of cure disease. Not that, not that, yes, those. Yes, those, keep the snowberries. Yes, that, 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 and these. All right, good. Didn't find any unique items. What do we got here? Bear pelt, corundum, two deer hides. Skip the keys. Large antlers, or calcum ingot. Did I put in the corundum ingots? Yes. Sabercat snow pelt. And over here go the final four snowberries. Outstanding. Let's go visit Bellathor and offload our shiznit. Oh. Back. Did you bring me anything? Not this time. Aww. Sorry. Uh, I thought I was stuck stuck and in trouble. This is good news. Because now, anything I find in the future, the skill that's most difficult to get to 100 by far, especially if I'm not buying soul gems, is enchanting. Anything I find in the future, I can use to make a fortify enchanting potion, which will in turn increase the experience gain Every from said I enchanting. On the one, but on the all that matters. I'm is not that sure why it scrolled oh, down it the hell's business, because I don't actually care. Let's just sell him everything he'll take. Like I said, we're going to get there anyway, which is why I've stopped caring about them running out of gold in crafting sessions. We're at 91,000. I need to get to 120. It's going to be pretty easy with quests and whatnot. Halted Stream Camp is on the map, so let's head there. And then, a little under 15 minutes over, it'll be time to end this video. One full bottle of wine later. Weekends are good. Alright. I think I'll actually want the sword so I can go for the sneak attack on the bandits outside. Next time on Let's Play Skyrim, we will tackle Halted Stream Camp. 
We cleared out Lorius Farm, we completed the side quest, delayed burial, and we killed a couple of poachers. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and have a phenomenal day. Bye-bye.